As a news, Microsoft has just incorporated the Microsoft Bing Image Creator in the Microsoft Bing AI that have just recently been released. It's a tool that allows you to create images from words with artificial intelligence. It uses the OpenAI's DAL-E model to produce high quality photorealistic digital pictures, drawings, and many more things. So if you want to have access to it, all you need to do is to go ahead and check in your Bing AI. But unfortunately, I've just tried to prompt the Bing search engine. I said, can you create the image of a robot with pink wings? And unfortunately for me, he said, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to create images. However, I can help you to find images of a robot with pink wings. Do you want me to do that? And I said, no, I don't want you to do that. I want to experience the Microsoft Bing image creator. And so to, to do that, all you need is actually to come over to your browser and just search for bing.com and forward slash create and we brought in here so this way you come over and do the image creation so over here you can do image search if you have any image search you can do that directly from here and this is the chat box where you can send in your prompt usually for any grad use for any user you will have access to up to 25 boosts so boosts actually are there to make your image creation very fast so you don't delay during the image creation and anytime it runs out you can always recharge it by checking out the microsoft rewards program so you'll be able to recharge but for you to create basic images just like the way you have in mid journey all you need is just to come to the chat box over here and just type in something just give it a prompt and you'll be surprised at what you will see so let's say we'll start with something simple and just go over here and say surprise me for example I can just ask it to surprise me so click on surprise me and you can see right now it's loading so let's say a robot from the 1930s walking into the sunset a vintage movie poster and digital art so you this one too you can be very creative depending on how much detail you want to put in just put in the comma and put as many details as you want and this image creator is going to capture that particular image for you and bring it so let's say we are going to do this we're going to create this image a robot from the 1930s walking into the sunset vintage movie poster and digital art so let's say create this and let's just give it some seconds you can see this is a tip try adding a style such as digital art to it so we just wait for it while it is being created so you can see to your right over here these are recent creations that have been made using this and you can see you now have it to yourself so this is kind of very clear so you can see the image very clearly this is a 1930s robot walking to the sunset you can see and we had a vintage poster and digital art this is very very clear and very glaring one thing you should even pay attention to is the quality of the image it's usually created in 1024 by 1024 very very good quality and from here you can go ahead and share the image with your friends you can save it somewhere or you can download it and keep it on your desktop or your device and check out the different variations usually you will have four different variations of this image okay and i think i like this one as well it's really really old but then let's try to give it a very basic prompt for example we can say can you give me a cat with earpiece earpiece and a school bag wearing glasses wearing glasses so let's just even enter and say create this so let's give you some time a card with a headphone so you can see it has just created this and i think this is super nice yeah this is it the cat with a school bag and the headphone and the specs okay the glasses you can see it just created it very nicely you can check out the different variations i think i kind of like this one but it's cool and it really shows a very real cut with the glasses and all that and the school bag and the earpiece are equally very nice you see the only website that i found that created these kind of similar things is mid journey mid journey is also perfect when it comes to image creation uh, let's try to send in the same prompt see what it can generate and let's let's carry out a piece of comparison between the two of them usually in mid journey you can just go ahead if you don't know how to use mid journey i've made a video about it and you just go ahead and log in you can just come to midjourney.com and you can just log in and let's say midjourney.com you can just go ahead and join the beta and you'll be brought into 
join the discord if you don't have a discord account you can just go ahead and create a discord account so in mid journey usually you just have to find uh, once you log in you create a discord account you log in you'll be able to see you can see mid journey over here and you can check check on the any newbies that's where you make the you can make your posts okay so usually you can just come over here and just click and then you can start writing for slash imagine okay so let's paste this something a cat with a earpiece and a school bag wearing glasses so let's just hit on enter okay so let's say waiting for it to start okay so you can see it over here it's been created okay so all you need to do is to let's see a, a clean comparison of the two of them this is the same prompt i think this uh, mid journey makes it uh, give a more qualitative and better images than the bing ai even though it's just coming up it's just starting so this is mid journey's version and then this is um, microsoft bing ai's image creator version okay what it's created and i think they are kind of related but the only thing is that mid journey gives better quality in terms of the images so let's try another prompt that we can use let's say human so a small boy looking at the vr gadgets and enjoying uh, fresh air under a tree all right so let's create this with their bing image creator and let's try to compare the same prompt with the mid journey and see what is going to be the basic difference between the two of them so let's let's wait for the image creator to yeah and i think this is very very nice and fantastic you can see the this, this small boy enjoying the fresh air under the tree and with the vr gadget i think this is exceptionally superb this is next level ai because you can see and you can understand the direction and everything the, the speed at which it is being created so i must confess that bing is going into the next level of in terms of this kind of creation see look at the quality of the image and look at how it depicts the details that i've just inputted just inputted into the the tab Okay, and it has given me different variations of this same image for me to enjoy and select from the variety and if you want you can select you can generate regenerate more variations as well look at how he's enjoying the moments under the tree and with the vr gadget and it's a small boy it captures the description very nicely and you can see the different variations that it has just created for us so another way let's try to compare this with the next generation from the mid journey let's copy the same prompt Go back to mid journey and we can do the same prompt with forward slash imagine all right so let's just pass the same prompt that we just created from the other one a small boy looking at the vr gadget and enjoying the fresh air under the tree unless you don't enter and wait for it to just create uh, an image for us okay so we're now waiting to start okay so you can see the creation by the mid journey i think i prefer kind of prefer the one that is being generated by the bing ai for one thing it's very very realistic I think it's much better than this one. This one looks like it's um, kind of artificial thing, but the one created by Mid Journey is it's pretty much looks natural. Like the kid is enjoying under the tree, but take a look at this one. It's not directly under the tree, it's enjoying somewhere else. But then the picture actually look kind of too colorful and too, too unrealistic for, for that. Let me use this word, unrealistic. But when you look at the one generated by the bing ai i think this is very very realistic and this is very natural and the boy is sitting directly under the tree i think i kind of like preferably like the one generated by this um uh, bing ai because it's more natural and all that but the whole idea the backbone is that both the two ais understood the details that i have give as a prompt and they generated the images just like the way i wanted them so the whole idea is for you to give it a try to go on on your own and explore and see what and what you can do and then see how you can compare the two of them so the creations you've made you can see them over here and you can always see them by the side over here and if you want to explore more ideas you can come to explore more ideas from here and you'll be able to have access to all the other ideas that you can play around with from the existing uh, prompts that they have some sophisticated prompts and what they've created you can go ahead and utilize all those and create your own also if you want so assuming we want to try one more thing before we close up so let's say this lemon surrealist okay sure sure list painting this lemon painting let's click just to try it and see let's give a prompt about this okay so just look at the image okay very nice image 
if you want to generate this image you can just have to copy this um the same front okay you can copy the prompt and come back so you can paste in the same uh, prompt maybe and give other details so lemon surrealist painting uh with with two cups uh, by the side so let's see and a flower so let's let's add and a flower and let's see what it's going to generate so we just click on create and let's see what it's going to have we just have we are going to have a modernized version or upgraded version of the other picture that existed so let's wait and see what it's going to give us and you can see yeah it's brought in the lemon and with two cups by the side yeah and some flower okay and you can see the image that's been created by mid journey when with the same prompt that we've just created we have the two flowers and we have the two cups and you can see now it generated very clear image and with some a lot of graphics and i think i like this one better than the one generated by the bing ai but all in all the the idea is just for you to get the message how you can prompt in and what you can get uh, based on that and they both of them behave the same way both the the chatbots they behave the same way because they pick in the interest they pick in the details and they give us exactly what we are looking for so i think that does it for this tutorial at this point showcasing how to use the microsoft bing image creator i hope you enjoyed this video please if you find any value on this remember to give this video a thumbs up that means a lot to me and i look forward to seeing you in the next video so bye bye